One of the few industries still left in the dark, state-regulated casinos. It's now been close to six months since gaming floors closed. That's why News Channel Line's Adrian Smith says furloughed employees are calling on the governor to take a gamble and reopen those casinos again. Governor Cuomo, we're not asking anything unreasonable. We're simply asking to return to work. Bethany Volante and her husband both work at the Del Lago Resort and Casino, dependent on their careers here to make a living. When we were here and working in that building, we had no problem doing it. And what she means is supporting her family. The longer the doors stay closed, the harder it becomes for Volante and those other employees in the same position. It's sad and it's getting sadder by each day. Um, this shows you that we need to be heard. This right here are the faces of the ones that are suffering. Our kids are suffering because their parents cannot bring home a decent paycheck. Our combined income right now is $700 a week. We can't afford almost $1,800 of rent, a $300 car payment, groceries, all our other bills on $700 a week. That's why they're seeking answers and guidance, because all of the employees hope life is back to normal sooner rather than later. I want to be back in my office. He wants to be back in his office. We want to see our guests again. We have so many guests that even outside of here, we've become personal friends with. We miss them. We miss seeing them. We miss being here. We miss earning what we work for. And as they wait, their American dream stays behind the casino's closed doors. In Waterloo, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Employees from six other state-regulated casinos, including Vernon Downs, also rallied today. And one of the organizers tells us if they don't hear from the state within a week, they're going to do this all again.